have a great day friends i am sushant agrawal today we are going to discuss in our subject of uwe unit number 5 numericals one of the numerical is commonly asked based on trapezoidal speed time curve that numerical is the speed type curve of a train consists of uniform acceleration of 4 kmph ps for 30 second free running for 10 minutes uniform deceleration of 6 km per hour per second and a stop of 6 minutes find the distance between station average speed schedule speed the solution of this numerical is first we are writing the given data that is here alpha that is acceleration 4 km per hour per second it is given t1 is 30 second time required to accelerate the train t2 10 minutes that is 600 seconds beta that is retardation 6 km per hour per second and stop time is given here 6 minutes that is 360 seconds now vm that is maximum speed can be calculated with the help of this formula that is alpha t1 so 4 into 30 that is 120 kmph ps t3 is nothing but vm upon beta so 120 upon 6 that is 20 second you please remember these two formula vm and t3 so you can easily get the idea you know that acceleration is nothing but rate of uh, speed so here is the speed and speed upon time you can get acceleration so likewise you can remember this formula distance traveled during acceleration that is half vm t1 upon 3600 you know the calculation of distance from the last derivation we which we have discussed so the area of the triangle during acceleration in the speed time curve or trapezoidal speed time curve we can find out the distance that is half vm t1 upon 3600 time here taken in hour put the values you will get 0.5 kilometers distance traveled during free running there is vm t2 upon 3600 so 120 into 600 upon 3600 20 km that is here rectangle so that's why vm into t2 and t2 is here in hour so that's why divided by 3600 now third one distance traveled during braking again it is a triangle for retardation and vm t3 upon 3600 so once you solve this you will get the 133 answer that is in kilometers total distance travel by adding this all three distances you will get 20.833 km actual time of run is total time t1 t2 t3 here that is 650 second and average speed you know that how average speed is calculated s upon actual time plus actual time of run in hours not Uh, in we can say additional time is added here in average speed so total distance upon actual time of run in hours once we calculate this you will get 115.42 kmph kilometer per hour now schedule speed here you please remember the schedule speed the formula is distance between stations in kilometer divided by total time that is actual time of, of run plus stop time so the schedule speed is here 74.27 kmph kilometer per hour per sec uh, per hour yes kmph so likewise the numericals are calculated thanks for listening if any doubt please free to ask on this number myself you know that that is sk agrawal and my number is 9766473579 upcoming videos are based on traction motors control of traction motors and train lighting on unit number 6 the topics are like characteristic of traction motors and uh, we can say how this suitability of dc servos motor for traction purpose and regenerative braking as well as railway signaling system